Yeah, so usually both corners, the front and the back, will end up bubbling on the outside skin. And the reason they do that is because that's so tight, water, water comes down through the window channel and lays on the bottom here. And usually it lays right in here. In this area, it can evaporate or it can drain out these holes here. But in here, it traps it. So those end up rusting from the inside out. Um, a lot of times on the, on the inside of the door and the skin on the outside. Okay, so Dylan's got a piece of uh, poster board cut to fit this area here. And he's roughly got this shown on here. And what we probably need to do, Dylan, is get a nice straight line on this piece mm -hmm. that matches the, t the highest point of that. Okay. And then the end. So if you look at this, it's tapered here, but it, it stops short of the tip. It doesn't go all the way to the tip here. So let's take, um, and this is a one-way piece, correct? It doesn't it doesn't flip um, around, so it's a one-way piece. So we want to mark, put a mark the set the center of this up on here, so you know where that's at. Okay, and then if you take another something straight, you can take this. And you, yeah. And so that doesn't necessarily have to be marked on top there, but you got to be marked at the end. That's what I'm saying. Go right on past. Go right on past. There you go. So now you got an end here showing it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That goes down through. There's the end of it, but you, you kind of turned a little bit there. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right Let's get a little lacquer thinner. Take that off. So just clean that, clean that off on the end there. You can go right up, just clean it all out of there real good because we're going to remark it. So what we're trying to do is find this this point right here, right? So we want to carry that on out. I'm just doing it by hand. That's close enough. Okay. So then we can take this piece and lay it in there and locate where, where it's going to be. I usually do something like this. So that's that tells me where it's, I can always lay it back in place, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about left or right. So then I guide that out from those two points and I mark that center line and I mark this center line down here, okay? That's our center point. That's our high point of that ridge. And I just go ahead and do this. I'm gonna get rid of your line so we're not confused here, okay? So that's that's gonna be our high point, and we can even put a bend in that, right? Like that. That's giving you the same. See that? Mm -hmm. So if we was to measure from this point out, that ends about an inch and three eighths, right? Right there's an inch and three eighths. So I'd come out here an inch and three eighths. And that's the end of my roll. That's where it starts tapering down. So this gets, this is the high point and then it really tapers down to where it's flat here, right? So mm -hmm. your radius kind of ends, you know, I'm exaggerating something like that, right? Mm -hmm. because, of, because of this, that's that point. So now we've got that laid out. And you just cut this. And that fits fairly good around there. And let's take some lacquer thinner and clean that off. So we start with a clean piece. So we can transfer those two lines that we just put on here. Those are our guidelines. And then this is our center point, right? So we can do the same thing with this. We can transfer that. So that gives us the angle. All right here's our angle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here to here. Take this and get a straight edge. Is there a straight edge on this thing? Yeah, right here's a straight edge. Close enough. 
that's our, our high point. And again, we want to go an inch and three eighths, right? Okay. Let's move on there. Inch and three eighths. That's our high point. So we want to roll this roughly, you know, like that, and it, it should kind of roll like that on the end to duplicate that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, going to try to get this as close as we can. It may not be exactly, but it's going to be pretty close, and I don't think anyone's going to notice it or be able to tell the difference when we're done. Mm -hmm. That's that's the goal. Cool. So the other thing we could we could do is if if you look at this edge right here, it's rounded. Mm -hmm. But there's some holes in here. If if we were lucky and that that was good solid material, we could cut right here and take this piece out, and then this is where our seam would be. But yeah. it doesn't look like we're going to get lucky here. Yeah, we're gonna we're, gonna we're gonna find out when we cut this piece out of here whether that's clean under mm -hmm. there. If it's not clean, we'll have to roll this edge as well. Okay. But, so let's take that over on the bead roller and and put a bead in there. Okay. Okay, so as you can see here, there's some play in that. And you know, you crank that down, there's less. So you want to start it up and gradually push this down. Okay. And I usually count them, so that was two. So I'm gonna go down, there's two. I go down four, okay. You wanna stop short of that? Just before it. Yep. There's your top. It's getting pretty close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we'll go down just a little bit more here. And I push down on both sides here just to... It's pretty close. Mm -hmm. And see how it's rounded on the end there and it stops. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty pretty good to what we want right there. Let's see it's oil canning a little bit because it's shrinking that up. But oh, yeah. this this whole corner is going to be shaped like that somewhat. So we got that done. Um, I think maybe just a tad more. Oh, it's pretty good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice. Okay, so that fits. That, I think that looks pretty good with that. See, this is a little steeper here than that, but we can shape that a little bit more with a... I got a little T-dolly that will stick in there and shape that, finish that up a little bit, because it's more, if you can see, it's more, a little, more. A little longer here than it is here. But that's a good start. Mm -hmm. Now let's take... Uh, I'm just kind of like... Clean this up again. Just to keep our marks in place, mm -hmm. or lo locator marks. It gives me a better visual of what it looks like. Okay. All right. So now our next step is to roll this edge, and probably, you know, see how this this actually tucks in underneath mm. here. Um, I think what we should do next would be to take and cut this out right along that line and cut this out and see what it looks like up under there. Because if we can save this, all we have to do is trim it mm. straight across and it'd be a lot easier to weld. If we can't save it, then we're going to have to roll this edge. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and cut that out and then we'll clean it up and, and go from there. Very cool.
Okay, so we got it cut out. And what's behind here? It's fiberglass. What did you just ask me? Um, why would you use fiberglass on a non-fiberglass door? Yeah, so somebody's got on the inside of the door and poured fiberglass down there, put a mat. They went through here, tucked it in, pushed it down in with a, a putty knife or something to try to fix these holes. That was That's the reason they did that. They poured uh, resin down there and then they took fiberglass mat mm, and shoved it down there. So, and then just left this. Yeah, and that was, it still is gonna rust in behind it. And in fact, you can see all the rust on top here. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, this is all resin. You see how, how deep that is right back in here? Yep. That's resin, they poured it in there and you know, that was their fix. So let's clean all that out, clean the backside of this up real good and then get in here and see if you can pull this resin out as well and hopefully we can hold we can save this edge mm -hmm. okay cool okay so dylan's got it cleaned out we got this little dentist tool in here and picking away at it got everything cleaned out back in there that's uh so we got a couple holes here got a hole over here this is pitted fairly bad um, and that piece had been replaced. You can see there's a weld right under here. Like it follows this, this radius here. So they've done a decent job on that, but they really should have pulled all this out. So I think what we ought to do is, I mean, if we, if we butt weld this piece in, so it, it's even with that, we could, but you still got this metal that doesn't look very good. This doesn't look bad here, but it's just right in the corner. So I think we ought, what we ought to do is go ahead and we'll cut. We'll cut this piece right here. Right there. And then we'll cut it right here. Then we'll take and cut this edge right here. Right along the edge. And what you'll do is you'll take a piece of sand or a grinding disc and just grind that edge till this inside peels off okay okay and then what after we get that done we'll put this patch in here we'll put that in place okay then we'll cut it so it fits the outside of the door and then we'll lay this piece back on top and we'll weld it right along this edge. Okay. All right. So go ahead and cut it here, here. Take a, a grinder and just grind the edge until it gets that thin. And then this piece will pop oh, out. Oh, okay. I got you. What we want to do is keep the same profile here because mm -hmm. this is a stock, a factory uh, profile. We want to kind of duplicate that so when we're done, it doesn't look like we anyone messed with it. So... Okay.